In this video, we're going to talk about masks and when to use them. Sometimes while you're sculpting, you find that there are certain areas of your sculpt that you'd prefer not to change. What you would need to do would be to mask them so that tools don't affect them. Masked areas will appear as darker areas within a mesh. You can create masks in different ways. You can switch your active tool to the masking brush. This allows you to mask areas when touching the mesh. Pressing the alternate shortcut will allow unmasking. The faster way of using masks is by using the masking shortcut. You can access it on the shortcuts panel at any time. When you press it, you'll see that the active tool icon at the top changes temporarily. When you release it, it goes back to the standard. We're going to press the masking shortcut and drag over the mesh to start masking. As you can see, if we tap outside of the mesh and start to drag, while pressing the masking shortcut, a lasso line will appear. This will allow us to select a screen space area, and as soon as we release it, everything inside the lasso will be masked. When we have a mask, we can invert it by pressing the masking shortcut and simply tapping on the canvas. If we have a mask and want to remove parts of it, we can press the alternate shortcut in addition to the masking shortcut and draw a shape. This way, you will see that the lasso has a different color, and as soon as you release it, this will clear the areas under the lasso from the mask. We can also blur the mask by pressing the masking shortcut and tapping on the mesh, or the alternate and the masking shortcuts while tapping on the mesh to sharpen it. We can clear the mask by using the same screen space approach but drawing a shape little enough that doesn't cover any part of the mesh. But there is another way of modifying your masks, which is by going to the Mesh menu and choosing any option of the Masking submenu. You can see that the screen space area masking is currently using a lasso. You can change this area type by going to the bottom of the tool menu and choosing a different shape. If you like this video and want to see more like it, Please let us know by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content like it.